This is the Mirage Raceway, a brand new custom race circuit in Forza Horizon 5. In today's video, I'm going to show you some of the best custom maps that have been made in FH5 over the past couple of months. They are absolutely breathtaking. I've got a bunch of racetracks. I've got some beautiful photo locations. And yes, I've even got a pain map that we'll jump into. As per usual, if you'd like to submit maps that you've either made yourself or just maps that that you played that you think are really cool. Feel free to submit them over on the AR12 Discord server. And if they are really cool, I'll check them out in a future video like this. Back to this map. This is the Mirage Raceway, and it is unbelievably cool. It's a beautiful racetrack that was built out on a Vent Lab island, except for the fact that you would have no idea that it was built out here. Straight up, this map looks like Laguna Seca. The guy who made it actually said it was heavily inspired by Laguna Seca. That's why we've got all of the sand along the side. Even a lot of like the curb styling is pretty similar. And what's super nice about it is it's actually drivable and super buttery smooth. It's just, it's lovely. Today's gonna be a day filled with race circuits. So on the topic of race circuits, why don't we just go to the next one? You know how that last map was inspired by Laguna Seca? What about just Laguna Seca? <laughs> This guy named Arby went in and rebuilt, essentially, Laguna Seca. This map isn't actually called Laguna Seca. It's called the Hawaii Mizumi. I think we can all agree I nailed that pronunciation. All you need to know is it's actually Laguna Seca. As it turns out, you know like the Forza recommended maps and stuff like that? The developers will no longer share maps that are using copyrighted names. For example, Laguna Seca. So if the guy who made this map wants it to be featured like in Forza's recommended map, he needed to call it something else and that's why it's called the Kawa Mazui. And it's unbelievably well done. It is so cool. Every sand trap is recreated. Every single curb location has been recreated. Yes, like Laguna Seca, there is a corkscrew. I don't think it's as steep as the real life version, but it's not bad. And considering that's just built by merging road platforms together, I think that's pretty good. Anyways, this track does actually have a working pit lane, so you could drive on into that. Send it up the inside on this guy. Oh, he's got mega power. Mega, mega power. Yeah, look at the checkpoint. You see what I mean? Very cool. The guy who made this map actually built it with two purposes in mind. Obviously, number one, so you and your friends could go and race around Laguna Seca. The other thing that he wanted people to go and do on this map was to pause the game and open up the camera and take some just lovely photos around here. Dive it on into the pit lane. See you later, fellow racers. There are proper little... Oh, sorry. <laughs> you can just pause, open up your camera in the pit lane and take some absolutely lovely... That is so sick. Like, could I just pull up and drive in and get some cool photos in here as well. I guess I can. That's awesome. That's so cool. What an absolute W. It's not every day you see a true 10 out of 10 map, but I think we have already done that. And believe me, we are only getting started. Now that we've done a racetrack and a racetrack plus photo map, I want to go do some off-roading briefly. This is the Brocky Mountain Pass. You may remember the Filthy Honey a couple of months ago made the original Brocky Mountain Pass. I love it. It was one of the most fun, like, trial car map. And this is the third and final Brocky Mountain Pass. This is Brocky. Brocky is a custom build. Was it a, I guess it was a Ford Bronco in another life. Von Gittin Jr., who drifts Ford Mustangs, built this thing to do off-roading with. The Brocky Mountain Pass maps aren't actually, like, rock crawling maps. They're more, uh-oh, uh-oh, okay. All right, we're up, 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 we're up. This is so sketchy. Bro, this is like driving on ice. There is so little grip. This is not even funny. I have to keep moving forward. Climb, Brocky, climb, climb. Watch out for those rear wheels sliding. Okay, we're good. Bro, these maps are so unbelievably hard. Providing we've got like enough speed, it's actually not too bad. Okay, these are just like landmines under the water that I'm just gonna need to like, I'm just gonna need to smash into all of them. All right, beautiful. The tubes are fine. See, these aren't too bad. Actually, I can just go around this one. Are you sh um... Ow! 
Okay, take some speed into it. Okay. How am I gonna get there? Why is there a bridge in my way? No! I think if I just send it full send... All right, we're up to 23%. Keep sending it, Brocky, up the hill. Yo, look at this. Oh my God, that's such a sick photo. The back tire in the air too, that looks insane. It would be really cool for the next game if the developers actually gave us like some rock crawling maps that were built into the base game map. Okay. <laughs> Come on, land it. Well done. Well done. Beautiful send. Absolutely beautiful. What? Homie put a fake wall on his map. Oh, wait. No. Bro actually made a maze? Did I by some Christmas miracle go the right way? Of course not. Obviously, I don't want to spoil the map for you. You can go and try that one out for yourself. I'm doing the big brain thing, and obviously, I don't want to spoil the answer for the maze. So I'm just going to quit out, and I, I, I'll let you solve it by yourself. This is Calabogie Motorsports Park. Somebody went in and made the circuit in FH5. This guy went to the effort of making this entire circuit circuit and then didn't tell me about it. <laughs> he said made for beautiful Nikki Poo. The only reason I know about this map is because somebody else happened to find it and then post it on the Discord server. I've never driven around here before. I am going to tell you if this is accurate. Essentially, what we're driving on here is the short version of the circuit. If you saw episode seven, where there was a slight car crash, that was the layout that we were driving around. So you can check that one out. Let's see, though, how accurate it is. I will say I'm a little bit thrown off because of the lack of elevation change here, but the layout itself, not bad. When I do a lap, I wonder how different the lap time will be from real life. I think in real life, the fastest I did was like a 123 or something like that. Oh, oh that's tighter than it is in real life. <laughs> You can also definitely not go flat through there. That's actually very accurate, that final corner. That's quite nice. And the start finish straight is a little bit on the short side. But other than that, it's not bad. I love it. I love it. That is a very cool race circuit. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Hey, yo. <laughs> That's not bad, boys. I'm just saying. This is Hotoy Nexus. It was made by this guy called Koneg. Koneg? It's a city area known for its diverse architecture. And it's unbelievable. Oh, my day. Is that a tram track above us with all of that custom like piping and ventilation and everything? Nah, that's that's crazy. That's unbelievable. Look at that. The donut shop. You love to see it. I like that. That's very cool. This is just, oh my god, the abandoned building in front of us. That's so sick. Look at this parking garage up here in front of us. An arcade. That's so cool. It feels like the map from Need for Speed a little bit. I definitely get those vibes. You know what I mean? Honestly, this at night, I think would have looked even better than this. Even just like this? That is wild. This is the version of the map that the developers are featuring. I have no idea what is... Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. What's different? Okay, bro, it's not any darker. Chat, I think you all lied. The only difference is this one is a ray. Wait. I found a shortcut. I didn't find a shortcut. I found the world's worst shortcut. Wait, what? Wait, what the? Are you? Wait, that's actually an intended path. That's so cool. This is the best map I've ever seen. And then look at this. He's using invisible flooring. And then you drop back down onto the race circuit. Beautiful and well done. I think this might be the best map in Forza Horizon 5. Mind blowing. This map wasn't even on my list, but sometimes, holy, the developers can find some cool stuff. <laughs> wow. This is one of those sorts of maps that is super, super small, but the detail in the map is just breathtaking. And that is, wow. Bro, that looks like a car commercial. Wait, what? It keeps going i didn't know it continues all the way over here and all the way over this map is huge <laughs> this is unreal people who build maps in this game are just next level okay the fog doesn't look that great in there i'll be honest this is how you get to the finish line are you kidding me 
take the left hand corner and there's the finish line there are like so many photo opportunities on that map i just i don't even know where to begin that's like a photographer's dream i've actually got one more photo map that we can try out the guy who submitted this map over on the discord server said that he used 98% of the prop budget. Honk to lower your car, press the e-brake to cancel. Okay, we've got the Australian apartment sunken into the floor. And then here is our 7-Eleven style fuel station. Oh my God, that's so cool. I'm gonna run in for a slushy. Boys, do you want anything? I don't know what's going on today, but all of these maps are just like wallpaper worthy. There's a wallpaper for you. I won't even charge you 50 bucks a year for that photo. I hope you enjoy it. I don't know why I get such joy in like these sorts of maps. Like they're not huge. They're nothing crazy, but they're just absolutely beautiful. And I, I really like them. Okay. Is this why it's a hut, like nearly a hundred percent prop budget? Everything inside is... <laughs> Look at that. Wait, and we've even got like the little slushy counter. <laughs> What an unnecessary use of the prop budget, but I love it. Oh, no. <laughs> There's a little dude. Anyways, moving on. Let's go to our next map. This is our next racetrack we're gonna try out. It's called Im Linden Club Circuit. The person who made this map, he was saying over on the Discord server, it's actually a massive racing circuit with a ton of different layouts. The circuit that I'm driving on is called the Club Circuit but there's a whole bunch of other layouts. You'll notice as we're driving around, there are offshoots and like other paths that you could take. Like look at this, for example. There's a version there that just goes straight on and then goes all the way down there. There's a version that cuts off there and so on. How cool is this? It properly feels like a little country club race course. A very unique way of making a race course in Forza Horizon 5. I really, really like it. Really like it. Like, this is awesome. Look at the little catwalk there and the big pit building there. There's actually, I think there's even like a shorter version of this circuit too. Look, there's almost like an infield. There's a pit lane. It looks like the pit lane actually works. Yes, the pit lane does work based off the checkpoint placement. That's very cool. What a nice circuit. It's also got like a little bit of elevation change just to keep it interesting, but not enough to totally unsettle the car. Awesome track. Really like it. Oh, I thought we were going straight. It kind of goes to show that you don't need to go crazy with all of the props and all of like the scenery and everything. If the racetrack's just good, it's a fun track, you know? Those were some truly very, very cool maps today. I really enjoyed them. If you've made any cool maps, submit it on the Discord server. I would love to try them out next time.